Hello everybody and welcome back to All the Mod 6 to the Sky. This episode we work on, well as you can see, we make villagers. And we also get ourselves infinite cross-dimensional access to our refined storage system. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are going to be working on creating ourselves a wireless transmitter that is cross-dimensional and has infinite range. But there's also something else I want to do today in preparation for next episode when we're going to start doing some magic. Is we need a villager. Now, I've managed to get two more quantum creatures and I've caught myself two zombie villagers from our farm. And I've made this little hut with a little bit of a farm over here so we can have villagers breeding like crazy. I think I have somewhat like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 beds. So we can have up to probably more than 11 villagers. So that's great. So a couple of things that I have done just while uh, since last episode was I've increased uh, this thing, our mystical agriculture farm, to have more stories. So, we have now got coal seeds and obsidian seeds, um, anything different down here? Fire and nether, which we are going to need now in the future. I uh, can't remember exactly what I need them for, but I definitely know I need them. Lapis and dirt, and I think this is just, yeah, emerald and diamond, so we have those since last time. So, what about these ones? Coal and obsidian, and up here then we've got quartz enriched iron and uranium, and nature and wood seeds, because it's always good to have some wood. And if we look in here at essence... You can see we've gotten like quite a lot of like 13,000 wood essence, 13,000 uranium. Uh, I keep always compressing up the diamond and emerald every time I get it. So as you can see, I get a lot of stuff. And as you can see, I've got uh, like a lot more hours stored in my bottle because I've been AFKing a lot longer again. So that's it for just the farm. Now the pack has had an update and there's a couple of things I have noticed. One is we've got new quests. So we've now got a resourceful ways tab, which pretty much gets you to craft every single mystical agriculture seed. And then down here in the little bottom right corner is everything to do with bees. So in here it shows you all the different type of bees that we can make. So like ender bees and everything is crafted like this. Uh, this is a bit crazy. So we'll have to get into nature's aura to get that type of egg. But that's way out of reach just yet. This is more nearly late game stuff. Um, incoming quests in this page will remain will be mainly bees and mythical agriculture. For this for sky, the natural spawning of bees will have crafting recipes that spawn them. Quartz currently quartz, cobble, lava, water, RGB, glowing lumber, spooky magma. Uh wait. What? Is that just the bees that we can craft? Uh probably. Okay. But we can check mark that. We've already gotten like soul lava before and we've got these iron spikes. But because they've just added it in, it doesn't claim all the quests like before. But anyway, one thing you mentioned down in the comments is, remember the issue where I'm having that like all the ore pieces and stuff? I'd have to go into the compact machine and break that item interface block and then put it back onto this storage controller. Well, apparently if we just grab this thing, the network card, put it back in, it resets it. So I don't actually have to go into the compact machine to actually have it reset and collect all of our items or reset our item storage. Jeez, I can't speak. But there's a few things now we want to get started today, which, like I said, we want to get wireless transmission and the zombie uh, zombie villagers into regular villagers so we can set up a villager farm. So I need to, for making the, the actual wireless transmitter, we're going to need four nether stars. And if we look up wither... I've only got a couple Wither Skull Fragments, and that's only enough to spawn one. I need one more skull for two Withers. And the reason why I have some of these is because I've been killing a couple of Withers because I was looking into upgrading my sword. And one of the things that it needed to upgrade to act, add an extra modifier was a skull. So I'll just show you here because I've done a few things. I don't have a Book and Quill because, well, I don't have Ink Sacks unless I made a Water Sword really low down in the world. But there's a couple of things in here, so I've got this on my sword, which is a crude version of the netherite, granting immunity to external damage like fire, but no additional strength. 
which is just net earth scrap. It costs no modifiers to add on, so that was kind of cool. Resurrected and end crystal, no modifier required, and it gives you an extra modifier slot, which I used with more nether quartz on to add. Then we've got uh, recapitated, which adds another upgrade to it, so we can just use any type of skull. Uh, what's this one? Reach. Oh, I could have used reach. That could have been handy. Uh, no, got netherite uh, requires at least diamond or emerald on your sword. Mine probably can do because it's unobtainium, but whatever. I added some luck on with the ability slot that we had that we never used. And a music disc actually also adds an extra modifier slot. So I added one of those onto it. And the only way I can get music discs is by flying around the uh, nether to find these bastions to fly it and find, try and find a music disc of pig step. Which is the only way I was thinking of getting a music disc. Unless we were able to get a skeleton to kill a creeper. But that was going to be way too difficult. This is another one we could get. If we manage to get ourselves a dragon head. Which uh, doesn't look like we can do just yet. Uh, unless we find a thing in the nether. Or in the end. A end city. But I have a better plan for finding an elytra. Or actually we're just going to craft one. And these creative abilities or whatever. So I've now got beheading. Luck, sharpest, and world bound on my sword, and that just makes it so anything I kill will have a chance like you drop in our head a lot better. So, we're using this mob swab. I want to grab myself a bucket, a uh, bucket, and I want to grab some seeds, which I've only got a few of. And I want to now grab a bucket here, combine the three of these. This will make some GM chicken feed with the DNA of a wither skeleton. We're going to come over here, give it to a random chicken, and it exploded. But in here, we should have a Wither Skeleton Egg. And as you heard there, it is apparently is someone's birthday. I uh, didn't actually hear what the name said. It was like Darko or something? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Phantom Charm Fragment. When the hell did I get that? Anyway. So I want to change this Blaze Spawner into a Wither Spawner. To do that, just pop the egg in there. And we're done. So just turn on this. And boom. Tons of Wither Skeletons. Nice. Also, I made an extra disc, so we had this one, which was just a million, but I managed to make myself a 16 million storage disc because, well, I may have been grinding out refined storage parts for a while. Like, refined storage, I've got, like, a couple thousand of each uh, component, um, but I definitely want to set up an autocraft to make the infinite storage one, so that might be something we'll aim for later on down the line when we're getting way more resources um, from either Mr. Agriculture or setting up our bees and quartz bees apparently the first bee we might be able to make but anyway we're not making that do you remember that dragon scale we got uh last episode this dragon scale can be used to make ourselves an elytra so i'm going to use this dragon scale to make an elytra now we just have to kill the dragon over and over again he'll keep dropping scales so that's fine so we don't have to worry about running out of them and if we get them dragon scales we can duplicate an elytra if we wanted to and we just have infinite elytras or we can do eternally or alternatively make our own one in silent gear so that'd be kind of cool so with the elytra we need to now need to kill the wither so a couple of things that we can actually do is we can go to the end underneath the portal set up a wither get him to suffocate and then he'll die or as we're killing him he'll die or we can make a box to spawn him in that is wither proof and blast resistant and kill him in there now the block i'm talking about is bedrock but a pacific type of bedrock stable quantum bedrock from cyclic this type of bedrock pretty much just allows you to build your own wither proof box and then if we grab ourselves a redstone torch we can pretty much turn this into bedrock for instance we just put this down and as you can see we can break it but if we right click it it turns to bedrock and it becomes unbreakable right click with a torch again to return it back into this and it is good. So we have the options whether or not to set this up in the overworld. Because later on we can actually set up our automatic like wither farm. Where we have a wither builder from industrial fort going. Which will spawn a wither. And then we'll have a mob crusher which will kill the wither. And then we'll just have that going infinitely. As long as we have the materials to build the wither. Which that fire and nether stuff is good for soul sand. Because soul sand can be used with fire and nether. So, realistically, because I have so much of it, I could just make stacks of ne uh, soul sand, no problem. Now, let's have a look at this wither. Uh, skull? What's going on? Why am I not... Oh, because they're in there for some reason. That's a bit weird. Why did, why did they go in there? 
Anyway, once, oh my god, that's so many skull fragments already. So we've got 300 weight of skulls. That's actually way more than I thought we needed. But anyway, we can turn this off now and let's head to the end. So by going to the end, we can come in here and we can spawn in a wither. Now, do we do it under the portal? Nah, we're going to do it right here. So using our wand, we're going to create a box. How big a box are we going to make? The inside's going to be, yeah, this big. So about five on the inside. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And there's our box. So this will be the main outside of the box. And now I want glass in the front so we can see um, out and all that. Get out of here. There we go. And I'm going to put glass on the, on the front. Build this up. I need more quantum cobblestone or uh, quantum stable cobblestone. Uh, bedrock. Jeez. Bedrock. More of this. There's two stacks. Now, glass. This tinted glass that we use to make our mob farms front is actually wither resistant. So, it's actually pretty good to use. So, boom. This should be big enough. One, two, three is wither. And then an extra block above him just to make sure he doesn't escape. There we go. Wait, does that go here? Yes. So, just going to put a top on. There we go. And then we put glass in the front. And I'm just going to put a hole in the front middle right here. Just so we can jump in and out ourselves. The wither should not be able to escape out of this. Grab this. Because all of it's connected, it all turns to bedrock. And we can come in here and just kill the wither. Now, because of how big the box is, we could probably spawn a couple of withers at a time. We need four withers, so we might as well spawn all four. There we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. There we go. Leave. And we can see all four withers are in there. And as soon as we get in there, we can go in there and spam click them all. Three. And number four. There we go. Let's do this. All dead. <laughs> oh, I love this sword so much. But now, that's it. All this is done. We can actually probably take this down, but I'm actually going to leave it there for now. Because I'll probably have to kill more withers now in the future. But let's head home. So, come back up. And let's see. We need to craft ourselves now the wireless transmitter. So, wireless. Creative transmitter. So, we just need four of these. One, two, three, four. And done. Break this. We don't need it anymore. Uh, my magnet is on. Why did I not pick this up? Oh, you know why? Because probably this demagnetizer. Yeah. Set it to a range of five. We don't need it any higher than that. So now we've got infinite transmission. And I believe that means if we go back to the end. Yes, we have access to our ME system from anywhere across infinite distance. Beautiful. Let's work on up making this villager farm. Um, it is starting to turn daytime now, which isn't exactly what I want. But there's actually a mod in here called Simple Villagers or something. In there? Let me see. Villager. Uh, oh, it's called Easy Villagers. So at Easy Villager. There we go. So we got a trader, an auto trader, a farmer, a breeder, a converter, and an iron farm. And an incubator. I think we're going to need the converter to convert him back, right? Um, let's see. So, villager input. How do we... Um, no. I don't think this is the right block. I think this turns him into a zombie villager. We want to turn him back from a zombie villager. So, I think if that's the case, we're going to need... I don't actually know which one we're going to need. I think we just have to put them down. So, brewing stand. Like so. Actually, there actually is this platform you can make from Dark Utilities called a weakening trap. This trap will give the whoever touches it weakness. And if we just get ourselves an apple. Golden apple to be specific. And grab ourselves some cobblestone. And we're going to build ourselves a box over here just to protect him uh, so he doesn't actually get burnt in the sunlight. Actually, you know what the best place to do it? 
be down here. If we just put him down and then just chase after him, he should be okay. So if we put the weakening trap right here and put this box like this. He should be able to walk in. We stand up here. He'll hit us. And then from there, uh, we should be able to like trap him like this. And he'll be stuck in there. And then we'll convert him back. So let's give this a try. So, zombie villager. There you go. You're going to walk down here. Trap you. You're weakened. Give you an apple. Pretty simple. Do the same thing. Uh, I'm going to put you down here. Break this. You're going to come in here, get weakened. I'm going to turn you back. There you go. Now I'm going to pick your boat up. And then we can break this down. Now, we want to make sure that they don't uh, attack each other when they converse. So I need to somehow set them up in the corner here one by one. Actually, you know what? I should have just grabbed one, set him up like this, push him into the corner. Come on, get into the corner. Uh, whatever, I'll just do this. There you go. That's one. Second guy, you can come over here and I'll just trap you like this. No, not jump. There you go. Now you're trapped. Right, just give these guys a few minutes and they should converse and we'll be good to go. So is there anything we need to do while we're waiting for these guys to converse? I don't think so. The only thing I can think about is making a composter. Because we're going to need these villagers to actually have a job. So, just let them converse. Come over here and we'll just put a composter here at... Actually, no, we'll be able to jump over the wall then. So, where do we put this? Uh, I don't want to be able to escape either, so I'll just put one under each window. Should be no problem. There we go. So, let's go back to our easy villager. And what we can do is we can make a villager breeder. So, what we can do is if we make one of these, it means we can put the two villagers that we get will be put inside here. So, we just need to make ourselves a bed, any type of bed, I think. Do we not have any more wool? Oh, we do have plenty of wool. Okay, so just make a couple of beds then. Go back to easy villager. Create ourselves a bed. There we go. And then what we can do is we can actually make an iron farm if we wanted to, which would be cool. But I think we also then need an incubator because once the villagers are bred to become babies, then we put them in here and they'll grow. And I think that's it. And we can also make ourselves a trader. And I think, how long does it take these guys to transform is it the length of time you have a minute and 30 240 right oh yeah um the one probe config i i've updated the pack and it keeps changing i go full transparent style in the center and that shows me everything i want at the top so in case you're wondering how to change that that's how you do it so we just have to wait for these villagers and then we'll be good to go all right, the villagers have converted. What the hell? Uh, it is loud. All right, I think you just shift right click them, pop them into your inventory. That's kind of funny. You just have like a villager. Hello. Hello. It just like pops up in the corner. So we can break this back down. We don't need it anymore. And this way now, if we go back over to our villagers, or our villager area anyway, and we were to grab the breeder. Now we could just put the villagers down in here, they'll get a job and they'll breed on their own, but I'd rather grab two villagers, wait, food items, output, wait, how does this work? Oh, maybe it doesn't work like that, okay, well, you get a job, you grab yourself a job, and they'll go to bed, and they'll get to work on farming, and by next episode, we should have way more villagers over there than there currently is. And then we can figure out how to use this incubator and trader. Like, what does this look like inside? Villager input, villager output. Uh, sure. I have no idea how this thing works. Does it say if I do this? Get a baby villager. Wait, do you just put food in there and you get it and you just output a baby? Wait, that's not how it works, is it? Breeder. Please don't tell me that's how it works. Maybe it has to be put down over where the villagers are so they're nearby. 
the thing and then the baby villager gets plopped into there when they breed or something. I'm going to put this guy here and we'll just see what happens. These guys are not actually going to get started until I give them food. I think. Yeah, they're giving each other food now. Oh, but don't tell me they're going to start already. Oh my god, what are they doing? No, <laughs> turn around. I don't want to be involved in this. I'm just going to hide in the corner. Please. Oh, jeez, the baby popped out. All right, I'm leaving. I, I, this is my time to go. No, all jokes aside. Um, How does this work now? We pop this baby villager. And do we put him in here as well? No. Oh, God, we turn him on the floor. So, incubator. We put him in there. He sits there. And we're just going to put a breeder here and see what happens. But does he now just sit in there until he's grown? I'm guessing that's how it works. So we'll see. So why aren't these guys going out the farm? They are farmers and there's crops here, but they're not farming. Are you coming out the farm? Come on. I set these up for you. Do you want me to... Okay, I'm outside your boundaries now. No, they're just... They just want to look after their child. Oh, God. Oh, I'm just going to leave them to it. You know what, actually? I want to see. How does this work? Give me you. You're a farmer. So let me get this trader. I'll put the trader down. Do I put the, have to put him in there? Okay. Oh, okay. So this just allows us to trade him. And we can just, like, take him out. So this guy will sell us beetroot and onions. Wait, did you... Okay. Uh, Cycle trades. Oh, so we can actually trade until, or cycle trades until we get something that we want. For instance, if we had carrots and potatoes in here, we could have a good source of emeralds then. So we're getting plenty of beetroot, wheat, uh, potatoes, and radish. Don't want that. I want either wheat and potatoes, or wheat, uh, potatoes, and, okay, actually it's not, not a bad one. Uh, having some beetroot and carrots, might as well lock that in. So, I'll trade you for some emeralds, and there you go. And, as you know, I'm going to grab a bit more carrots, and a bit more like that. There we go. What do you trade? Oh, wait, we can just cycle the trades when he's not in there. Oh, why don't we have to cycle the trades when they were inside that block? So, that apparently just makes things so much easier. There we go. Now, you'll level up. This guy should be leveled up now as well. So, we can use pumpkins for emeralds. So, pumpkins... I got plenty of pumpkins from our nature essence. Plenty of... Oh, that's actually a lot of XP. And you want spinach or eggplant seeds with emeralds. Uh, okay, your traits are actually pretty bad. Here, you can have the carrots. There you go. Melons, cookies... Uh, do, do I have melon? Let's see. Got some melon from our nature essence. That's no problem. More melon. So, because we have so much emeralds, I might as well buy everything from you and just level you up. What are you selling now? You're selling two different types of suspicious stew. Um, I'll take some pumpkin pie, because I don't actually pumpkin pie, which is another type of food I have not eaten yet, which will be great for bringing up my health. As you can see, my health is actually quite high, and I don't know if I mentioned it last episode, I can't remember. Frost melon? What the hell is frost melon? Uh, Gilded Melon. Oh, you're a master now, so you don't sell anything else different. So I'm going to pop you back out so you can just continue your work. How's this baby still growing? Does he look bigger than before? It's hard to tell. And you're just off selling Suspicious Jew again. You know what? I'll harvest all the potatoes for you. And then I'll sell them to you. Wait. Oh, does this guy just yoinked all the potatoes. He did not just do that on me. Damn. Bloody robber. I have so many potatoes anyway. It doesn't matter. I just want to get this guy past the next level, please. Okay, it doesn't have me enough. You know what? I'll buy some... I'll buy a suspicious stew off you. How bad could this be? What's in it? 
Uh, it doesn't say. It better be something good, not something that's going to kill me. And you're getting golden carrots and... Actually, I'll buy some golden carrots off you. Why not? I can't even take this villager out anymore. Um, food items. I might have to look into this breeder. I'm, I'm, I could have swore it was just you put the villager in there and the food and that's it. But apparently not. Unless I was supposed to put a fully grown adult. Oh. So that's how it's supposed to work. So after a while, they should just produce a baby maybe? Baby maybe. What if I feel like I can hear another villager around? Will they not? I wonder did they not grow babies because they are farmers? Maybe it has to be regular villagers. Um. Well, we know they do produce babies because they, well, they made this guy. So I'm not entirely sure. You know, what? I'm just gonna leave them out. Wait until this guy's fully grown if he ever does grow. Uh, maybe. Wait. Does this work? I wonder, can I speed up growth by using my time in a bottle? <gasps> it does work, because look, we now we've got another villager. Two babies. So, this produces babies. Oh my god, they are humbling so much. Are they out of carrots? Two more... Oh my god! Jesus, our time in a bottle is great! We're getting so many villagers! Well, that kind of solves that problem. Because next episode, if we go to At Mana, there's a specific item I kind of would like to get. And it is this kind of like Codex Arcania, which is pretty much the spell book and the guide of the entire mod pack. Or the entire mod. But it requires a spellmonger to get. So this is where I need to make a spellmonger. Uh, trader in here and set that up so I can actually get that book, but that's why I needed villagers So these guys here are just actually I'm gonna pop these guys out because I'm gonna put you In there because well you don't have jobs So you two can go in there you produce the babies and yeah off we go villagers forever So I'm gonna end it there. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe If you're new hope to see you all in the next episode. So without further ado Goodbye